Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give an overview of how I animate this anime style face brush. So, here's what it looks like again. Her face is turning red, bottom up. Just like the reference image I have here. Then to get started, I'll show you what the shader looks like. The body. And... Here it is, it's only these few nodes, this one. So it's basically a gradient texture that's mapped to the UVs. So I have a specific UV map just for this. So the reason I did this was because I needed a way to separate the head and the body to, to only affect it only. So if I show you you just go to UV to editing tab. From here, you want to get a new UV map. So, for object data properties of your body head, you go to your UV maps and you click the plus button for a new UV map. I made one called head. And then from here, I selected all the vertices for pertains to the head except for the eyes because I don't want the eyes to be red too and then I press U and I did a project from view and then it gave me uh, what that does it makes the UV exactly how it sees it here and then for the rest of the body if I invert this I just Moved everything outside of the box. And then the reason why it's upside down is because it has to do with the mapping. And it was the only way I found to have the flush go from the right direction that I wanted. Also had to change the rotation of the z-axis to minus 90. So the color ramp is what controls going from bottom to top. So if I show you how type something like If I change this, see that it's changing the, the direction of where it goes. So now it's like from the bottom right. So this is how I had it. This is what I found from my, we just playing around with it. Bring this back. It may be different from whatever your object that you have, or if you just have a head separate from the body. Uh, and after that, I put the output as a factor, multiplied it by the, t the texture of the body that I have. So whatever texture you have, you can, at the end of it, you just multiply it using this gradient texture as a factor. And then the color here is whatever color you want the blush. This, this color is what you want. All right, so that's pretty much it for the nodes. So now I'm going to go see how I keyframe this. So the only thing I had to keyframe was this color ramp here. So it's the black one and the white one that you had to keyframe. So starting at position one for both of them. 
you start pick the frame where it starts the blush. So frame 10, when it starts, frame 9, frame 9 is frame 10. And then you go find the next frame where it's around halfway, right around here. I moved it to here. You just move it until it frames halfway. And you also have to move the white one too. Only behind the black one just to get the full color of it. Because if you move this, so to show you, if you just move this without that fully colored, so you want the full color. This has to be always slightly behind. That's halfway, and then you just in increments. I just did every five frames. Here to here, and then here. I forgot to mention that, yeah, you just right click and click I to keyframe it. And that's basically it. And also, that's basically it. I hope this was helpful. See you guys the next one.